Anyway, come on again. You know, I've been uh, sitting out here contemplating how I'm actually going to do this. Um, I've been doing this for the last two days, actually. Well, mainly because I haven't had time to work on it anyway. I've had family to attend to on weekends. <laughs> yeah, but in, in between... Uh, what I want to try and avoid is any butt welding on the new panel. I'm extremely concerned about buckling it, about ruining this panel. You know, this panel cost me eighteen hundred dollars, and well, it's not just that. That that's yeah, you know, that's a sideline to the fact that I want the panel panel band to come out perfect. You know, this is going to be my one and only show vehicle. And, uh, yeah, but I was looking at it tonight, I think originally I was thinking, because I'll show you, on the inside here, because this, the bottom half of this is basically ute, it's the same as ute, and the panel I've got is actually a ute, new one, and the top clamps down over the side of it, which meaning that... The outer quarter panel comes to this point, overlaps here. And this is where I wanted to join it. I wanted to join it in the original fashion. Um, but that would re involve cutting the pillars somewhere and lifting it a half an inch so I can get it in there. Yeah, and there's a, you know, a possibility, because you know, of the front structure, that I wouldn't even be able to do it, you know. And, what I wouldn't want to have to do is to cut the front pillar. You know, if you, you know, you muck up the whole structure, and yeah, you know, if you, if you muck up any of the windscreen area, then you're going, yeah, you know, you're setting yourself up for an issue with the windscreen not fitting and all sorts of problems. So, yeah, I don't want to do that. And anyway, so. I was thinking about um, is rather than raising the top is to actually cut through here through here um, yeah, up across the corner diagonally probably um, yeah, yeah. expected go from here up through to the corner. Might have to cut a window in the back, in the inner panel, on the inner, inner part of the pillars so that I can get in there because I've still got a plug weld up under here under the new panel. Um, so yeah, cutting off there, there, there. And then coming along. The inside here, which you can't really... It's dark in there, but cutting right along in front of this overlap joint, cutting that off all the way along, and taking this section out. Um, that would also make it a whole lot easier to separate the join. And, yeah, fitting the new panel in, plug welding it from here, and then putting the inner panel back in after after the the quarter panel has gone on. Um, as I mentioned before, um, I don't want to take it off the chassis just yet until till the bulk of the panel is on and welded together. I'm also concerned concerned about it, distorting it. You know, bending it in some way when I'm when I jack it up to get it off the chassis, it's far stronger as it is sitting on the chassis. Um, it's a possibility too. I haven't even got under there yet. Um, I'm not even needing to take it off the chassis. I mean, yeah, the chassis is my original Ute. And 
I painted all the underbody of the van before I changed it over. So the underside of the van doesn't require any attention. Um, I don't know if I actually painted the chassis itself. That's what I don't remember. Um, going by the front. Doesn't look like I can actually did because the front looks all rusty and crappy. Mm. So I may still take it off just for the purpose of painting the actual chassis. Um, but what I was getting to is I may be able to, uh, once I've got the bulk of the panel on, look, I'll clean this overlap off. And clean it all up and prepare it so the joint is just there, it comes in a half inch. Um, I would already have the quarter panel on. Uh, yeah, this one down here, I can access it from underneath. Yeah, um, it's going to be a pain trying to weld upside down. Um, Considering whether to actually cut off that panel either as well. Well, I, yeah, it's probably better not to. Probably better to just persist in trying to weld it from un, from underneath. Well, there ain't, yeah, plug welds, you're not doing a solar belt anyway. Um, but yeah, as I said, what the point I was about to make is I may well be able to um, get to it. I don't know where the chassis actually runs, whether it runs up high or down low. And I'd say it runs down low actually because it's got to go under the floor. So there's a possibility that I can cut this panel out and do these plug welds whilst the chassis in place. As I said, if, if the chassis itself all, is in need of paint, well then I will eventually take it off and do it, separate it and do it. But yeah, I might not actually have to take the chassis off to do this quarter. But, uh, yeah, it's... I'm a bit stressed about it. I often wonder when I've been taking these things, whether I'm making a mistake in doing it that way. Uh, yeah. Every job I do, too, there's always hindsight. There's always something you think, well... Yeah, I should have done this or I should have done that. That would have been easier, better, whatever. Yeah. yeah, so with this job, I'm trying to basically have the hindsight <laughs> for I do the job. I'm trying to think it all out and trying to plan it in the best way possible. Anyway, yeah, just thought I'd add that little bit. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.